So here we're starting on our third tune for the pontoon. Comes in big boxes like this. Four big boxes. Uh -huh. We've broken down a couple already because all of them are out here. Here's the big partial tune. Here's the center tunes. The center ones. They have little little lips. Note the lips in the bottoms. So that they fit in there. Here's the the, the last front or back the back? Tube. This is the back tune. Back one. To show the uh, design of that. The little lip thing. Well, and then this one is the front tune. And the there's the cone. weird one. The nose cone. The nose cone weird one. So there's all the four pieces. Then you gotta mount some rails and rail it on there. So here's one of the rails. There are two rails. We have to drill them and put them onto the to mount onto the bottom of the boat. So big long rails. Gonna end up having to cut it probably because I think it's a little bit longer than the pontoon boat. There's the channel that the tube fits in. Do, 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 do. There's the channel that the tube fits in. It's a pretty pretty standard channel. So the first thing we're gonna do to make it a little bit easier to get under there is we're gonna remove the winch stand from the trailer. Okay. All right, so now that we've gotten that removed, it should make it a little bit easier to put the rails up in there. So now we're gonna start that. So now that we're under the boat, the first thing we did was we measured the center lines of each of these bars because um, that's where the the third tune is going to go or at least the center of it so before we get into actually mounting the rails we've got to measure and see where the channel needs to be so here is the you measure from one side to the other to make sure that the uh, rails will will hold the chan or the the channel so the rails will go out here and hold this in here so now that we've measured the actual channel on the tube, or the tune, um, we're going to measure the, the rail. And so we're measuring from outside, outside, outside over here, edge. to the inside channel. To the inside channel. That'll hold the tube, which is two and a quarter inches. For us, it, it could change, could for, change yours. for yours. That's why you gotta measure it. Um, so then we're gonna take this and we're going to put it up there onto the rails like we did with the center line. Our tubes measured 15 inches for the square channel area so we've marked that on the center line. Then we've marked outside of each of those two and a quarter inches which is the aluminum channel we're going to mount. That should give us an approximate location to install the channels. Next we'll hold the channels up and we'll clamp them in place with vice grips and C-clamps. Alright, so our markings, we've marked the center on all of them but now we've done these side ones for the actual channel on two sets. So we've got one down there and one up here. You really only need two um, because you just have to line them up. But you could do them on every one if you felt like you need to do extra work. So we're going to start. What we're going to do now is lift them up and then clamp them up there so we can see if everything fits. So line it up at the very front of the boat. Once you get it on your mark, you get your clamp. Okay, so what we've done is we've clamped this rail using our, our marks that we made on the outside. Uh, we've got just a couple clamps. We don't want to get it like permanently s put in there until we know that everything fits. So that's why we're just clamping it right now. All right, so we got both of them up now. Didn't show you this one because it's the same as that one. Um, but they're all just clamped on there. So here are the rails. This will be the channel that we're going to throw the tubes into. So now we're going to test to see if the tubes will fit. This is a replacement to CrossFit. This is the tune carry. We've had to carry all four sections out of the garage down to get ready to slide them into place on the pontoon. Okay, so now, since we've got the uh, 
channels in, channel in place. We're going to make sure that everything fits. We're going to slide the, the back tube in first. We're going to make sure it goes all the way through. And then we're going to just make sure all of them fit on there. And then once they're, we make sure that everything fits, we're going to actually take them all back out so we can actually bolt in the uh, rails. So we're going to do that and then we'll go from there. Okay, so once we tested out putting the tubes in, we found out that we actually had to push it back a little bit farther, so we ended up cutting off this flange here. Um, might be something you have to do on your boat, but it just kind of depends on how much room you have. So anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to drill up into here, and then we're going to nut and bolt. Uh, we're just using 3 8 bolts. Um, Stainless steel. Stainless steel, one With inch. Nylon insert lock nuts. So that's what we're going to do next. With stainless steel, nylon insert lock nuts, one inch bolt, stainless steel, three inch diameter. Bolt on the bottom, nut on the top. We'll tighten them later. So we're, we're going to use a 9 16 wrench Ryobi cordless impact tool, 9 16 socket. So now that we've got that one in, we're going to continue our way down each and every little beam. Same thing on the other side. Now we'll put the tubes back in. In case it wasn't mentioned before, eye and ear protection are preferable, because it's really loud. <laughs> okay, so something to note, there are these closed channels that you can't put a nut on top of. So we're gonna have to uh, drill in here and then use some self-tapping screws. So that's just something to note in there. Okay, so we have all the bolts and screws in. So now what we're gonna do is put this one in first. Then you're gonna put the two that are the same in the middle. Then this one goes on the very last, the nose piece. So we're gonna do that now. Another side note, don't let the tube things sit out in the sun. They kind of bow and then they don't fit under the boat. It makes it really difficult. Okay. So we let them sit overnight and they look like they've gone back into regular shape. So now we're going to put them all back in there again. So our tube didn't quite fit together uh, smoothly. smoothly. Um, there were some gaps in between the, the individual tubes. So we ended up putting some ratchet straps. Uh, ratchet straps around the sides and then we cranked them until it all snapped together. So it worked pretty well. So now we're putting this back plate on to keep everything from coming out. We've uh, drilled holes like we did on everything else. So there's holes through there and through here. And we're just going to bolt them like we did. All right, so here is the last part um, of our tune assembly, a third tune assembly. We're going to take this piece of angled aluminum that we've already pre-drilled, and we're going to use it as like a backstop so that the tunes stay in place. So um, he's just gonna drill the holes, and then we're gonna bolt them like we've bolted everything else. Uh, and that'll be the last piece. Then you'll have your whole completed third tune and your pontoon would be super, super amazing performance-wise and stuff. Okay, so we've got the, we've actually done two plates that we're going to put up here and drill them right together. We've got them clamped. He's just gonna drill them. We've got the holes drilled. We're just gonna bolt them together with those standard bolts that we've been using. And then this last piece is in. And there it is. 
just finishing the final touches. Uh, it's all bolted in there, and that's it. That is the complete install to the third tune. It's all in there, now we just have to go use it and have some fun. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.